one of the reasons we're down here is uh, just to see the whole process, get an understanding of uh, how an electric company, in this case uh, Pico, deals with a, a major disaster uh, weather-related event uh, as a result of uh, lines going down and poles going down and uh, people being knocked out of electricity. We understand the inconvenience that a lot of people are going through. First off, I, I want you to know that we are keeping the people in New Jersey and New York in our prayers. They're going through a, a tremendous inconvenience right there. And you know, we have it here. We were, uh, in some respects, much luckier uh, than they were. But the people in Pennsylvania who still don't have electricity back are being very inconvenienced. And I want to commend the electric companies that are out there and working as hard as they can. Uh, Pico is doing a, a great job. But I do want to say that I'm pleased with the re response of the people of Pennsylvania during the course of the storm and staying in, not putting themselves in harm's way. To my right is Glenn Cannon, the director of the Pennsylvania Emergency Management Agency, and I want to commend him, the entire P Pima staff, but all the first responders who have been working together uh, very hard during the course of the, the storm and now really the, the cleanup uh, from the storm. These are not easy things. You can't, I mean, you can plan for them and then you have to react. And I think you see that the planning that has been going on has helped us tremendously uh, from years past and you learn from it. I do want to commend FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management Agency. They've been working very closely with us in Harrisburg, uh, getting us the equipment that we need up to Indian Town Gap or into other areas that will be going out. I want to thank the crew here from Mississippi. Can you imagine somebody says you're going to go to Pennsylvania in October, uh, at the end of October, beginning of November, and they're up here working 16-hour days. They just got here. Two and a half uh, day drive to come up here. Mutual assistance. I know in the past with uh, hurricanes like Isaac and Katrina, we've sent people down there. We have over 2,000 uh, members of PICO out working. Many came in, uh, over 1,000 came in from the Chicago Illinois, Indiana, and Kentucky areas, and this is how it's going to continue to work. I do want to say this, I, was, I have just been reassured from PICO and, uh, and from the chairman, we are going to do everything we can. Well, PICO has said every polling place for Tuesday's election will have electricity, so that should not be an issue. And to the uh, crew from uh, Mississippi, thank you all very much. Welcome to Pennsylvania.
Stay behind that tape, sir.